The civil rights era is known for its influence through activism. During this time, people like Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Thurgood Marshall all became household names. But one name that you may not be aware of is Bayard Rustin, the brainchild behind the 1963 March on Washington. The late leader was a trailblazer, forging the way for civil rights and gay rights. The new film Rustin takes a look at the life and influence of one of the country's most prolific activists. Take a look. We are going to put together the largest peaceful protest made up of angelic troublemakers such as yourself. And joining us now is the director of the film Rustin, George C. Wolf. Mr. Wolf, thank you so much for coming on. Glad to be here. Why had I never heard of Mr. Rustin before? Because it's one of those dynamics where Bayard Rustin changed history and history repaid him by forgetting him. Mm. Why is that? I, I think it's a number of things. I think that um, on that day, you know, Martin Luther King, who was a regional rising star, delivered a phenomenal speech and became an international figure, like in that moment. And so, and there were many other people who gave speeches, but we remember that speech. And also, by it, worked behind the scenes in the organizing. And also, it was complicated because he was a 1963 version of an out homosexual. Mm. And that was very complicated then. Uh, in many respects, it's somewhat still complicated now. How did you come to know about him? And what made you decide, I need to tell this man's story? Well, I, I first learned about him in college, but it was a name in a, in a paragraph of other names. Right. You know, and then uh, at one point I helped to work on a museum in Atlanta called the Center for Civil and Human Rights. And that's when I really dug in. And then I found out about him and, you know, the, how he was a freedom writer before the, 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 the term was was coined, that that he was a conscious objector, that he spent his entire life, 14, 15 year old in, from Westchester, Pennsylvania, protesting segregation. Talk to us about him being Quaker, being raised Quaker, very much so and very how much. that impacted him. Very much so. Very, it's, 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 it is very interesting because so many of the leaders of the civil rights movement were Southern and Baptist, mm -hmm. and here he was a Quaker. And I think that, that that sense of service, that sense of responsibility for, that sense of doing what you must so that it happens. So it's there is so there wasn't it wasn't a, a dynamic that was exclusively about about him being a leader. He was a phenomenal leader. I I think that there are a number of kind of crescendos, really, in the movie. Uh, among them, uh, there's a moment where, where Rustin is crying after he hears Martin Luther King really speak out on his behalf, knowing that he was gay. I think I, I found myself even surprised uh, at that moment that Martin Luther King embraced him in such a public way well, as a Southern Baptist preacher. Well, the thing which is really interesting is that um, Strom Thurmond, you know, denounced him on the Senate floor. There were forces, including the FBI, including J. Edgar Hoover, including the Kennedy brothers, John and his attorney general uh, brother, you know, Robert, were not overly enthused about this march taking place. I'm not saying that they were behind uh, the FBI doing that, but the FBI was definitely behind Strom Thurmond denouncing him in public as a homosexual. And this happened just a week and a half before the whole march. So it was a combination of of a, a of, of support for Bayard and, and I think a collective contempt within the civil rights movement for Strom Thurmond, where all these people came out and, and, and stood up for Bayard because he had done a phenomenal job. And lastly, before I let you go, want to talk about the role of music. Yes. Because that really was its own character in and of itself. Yeah, exactly. Well, I work with Branford Marcellus. This is the third project that we've done together. And and so many of these people, you know, you have the Adam Clayton Powell, A. Philip Randolph, Roy Wilkins, they were so smart and so articulate. And so I wanted a music equation that both cap that would capture the 1963 New York, but also capture the eloquence and the sophistication. So I work with and the intellectual thought process of all of these phenomenal men and women. Mr. George Wolf, thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate the conversation. I want our viewers to know his film Rustin is now out in theaters and available to watch on Netflix November 17th. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.